and queen of no pants land. <laughs> and I am miserable. Want to know why? Because I desperately want to be pillaged by Vikings. <laughs> All the other island kingdoms get pillaged, but not Mayan. Those Vikings burn entire cities to the ground. He said confused, but not my city! No, it's untouched! My poor kingdom is off the regular pillaging map! All the hordes of marauding raiders simply pass me by. I deserve to be marauded too! It's just so unfair! Look at that proud Viking squirrel, astride his proud Viking vessel! You, over here, I'm ready to be pillaged! Oh! It is becoming obvious that they are going to sail right on by! I simply cannot allow this. Hey, Ernie! <laughs> Come on, Ernie! Sick the Viking longship! Sick up! No pants, I presume? <laughs> Guilty as charged. You cannot drink from my fountain of youth! None of you can! Go away! I have been hogging it for the last 500 years! It's mine! Well, Senor No Pants, how do you know this is the true fountain of youth? Do I look stupid? It says youth right on it! That's because it's the youth fountain. Right next to the adult fountain. Oh! But one thing bothers me. How have you not aged in 500 years? I stopped having birthdays when I was 39. That not making sense. <laughs> I wonder why you really didn't age. Good looks are in my genes. <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> oh, my lot in life. Adopted by an evil stepbrother who is a baboon. <laughs> Very godfather. <laughs> oh, I am gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. Oh, 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 oh Tisk. Don't worry, Cinder Lemming. He is gonna pull your carriage to the royal ball tonight. I'm going to the ball. It's your lucky day, baby. Oh, I am so excited. First, you will need a dashing outfit for the ball. I don't think so. Ready for the ball now? <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> I must have had it turned down high. <laughs> now this is more like it. <laughs> I am quite the fairy godfather. <laughs> and check outside. Ta-da! To take me to the ball? Why, it's beautiful. Not so fast, Cinder Squirrel. I ain't done yet. Now, why did you turn a perfectly good horse and carriage into a beaver and a pumpkin? Because I'm creative. <gasps> oh, I almost forgot the glass slippers. Oh, now you are ready for the ball, Cinder Hamster. <laughs> no! Hey, that's my tuxedo. Go! Oh. Oh. We say have better tux than I are. Now I are having better tux than I are. And pretty glass shoes. To the ball, horsey! Yeah. I'm beginning to suspect that you are not a legitimate fairy godfather. What do you mean? I got these wings and wand, don't I? As well as this wonderful doo-doo. What have you done with her? Ah, uh, who? My Marion! My true love of I are. Oh! Oh! The tower! Oh! It's made Marion! It's locked. Excuse me, Maid Marion? Robin! Miss Marion being really ugly. Oh, oh! You've come to rescue me! Oh, Robin Hood! My true love! Oh, who locked her in here? You mean you didn't? 
Nope. All right, all right. I'm not really a maid, but I am Marion. Oh, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? No! Oh, come back! <laughs> Fine! Go back to your smelly forest. Fellow doctors, I have invited you to witness a revolution in surgical techniques. Surgery from the inside. No! Impossible! This man suffers from a cracked gluteus maximus. The horror! Oh, that's gonna hurt. It certainly is cracked. My capable assistant, Nurse Baboon, and I will travel where few have dared travel before, inside the body to perform microsurgery. We may never return. However, I am Weasel. <laughs> this our shrieking ray I are discovering. This ray will shrinking Weasel and I are until we very, very pee into hypodermic needle, and then we squirting into bloodstream. <laughs> on the loose. Someone is stealing everyone's pants. People are walking around wearing only barrels. <laughs> Tragic, isn't it? <laughs> Not only is it uncomfortable, but think about the splinters. There are some places where one must never get a splinter. <laughs> I am a guest, Chief Red Heine. Who could have perpetrated such a heinous crime? Oh, there is no need to shout profanities, boy hamster. But <laughs> the situation is gravely serious, and something must be done. Run away, baboon man. You're talking to I R. Uh... <sighs> Come on, superhero. Ah, what's going on? Oh, baby. We're saved now. Ha <laughs> ha, girlies. I are batting it for life. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, what can I say? When you got it, you got it. Well, I got it. <laughs> now, how do I get rid of this? This is the Fly Channel. Hello, it's me, your host. But seriously, <laughs> Captain But Seriously, retired fighter pilot. I was at Normandy with Norma and D. And I was a tail gunner. <laughs> bang, bang! I am highly decorated with a purple heart and a red butt. Ooh. Tonight on the Fly Channel, we are going to talk about who really invented flight. <laughs> Oh, Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, 193. A lot of people think it was the Wright brothers who invented flight. Wrong! Guess again. It was actually the wrong brothers. If you'd have said wrong, you'd have been right. Get it? Oh, you, Neander Weasel. I'm looking for a new husband. <laughs> Why don't you take that club you've invented and bean me on the melon with it? And then drag me back to that cave you've just invented. No, thank you, Widow Crow Magbutt. Baboonus and I must go harness the power of fire. Yeah. Now, I, our Baboon, had better beginnings. He was the adopted son of the famous musical act, the Badger and the Mule. <laughs> that was Badger and Mule, tamarinists extraordinaire. Their manager was Colonel Heine Bottom, a genius coming up with what people wanted to hear. They want to hear tambourines. Yep, old Colonel Heine wrote such tambourine hits, such as Don't Badger Me, You Mule. And that's not my donkey, that's my wife. Very good! But, and that's a big but, there is that mule incident with FDR and Churchill, and mule acts quickly fell out of favor. Oh! So Colonel Heine needed a new act. 
I need a new act. And warm my blue, blue honey. Thank you, ma'am. Much obliged. Hmm. Ooh. Loser! Hello! It's a lucky day! But it's night. Okay, I screwed up, so sue me. Listen, hamster, love your singing. I'll make you rich. But I play and sing just for the sheer joy of it. For I am Weasel. All right, you sing, I'll be rich. Not the brightest cheese on the plate, is he? This is what your act needs. A monkey? No, a pain magnet! <laughs> Good morning, General Heine. I have a top secret mission for you, Major. Oh, this poor, poor kitty has become stuck in a tree. Your mission is to save this kitty. Location bearing 08 to Oscar Mayonnaise Bean Sprout Bravo 5. Many of you may not come back alive, but I don't care! <laughs> oh, do your country proud. We will not fail you, General Heine. Over and out! <laughs> Suit up, Private. We've got a kitten to save. Thank you, ladies and Germans! After completing third grade, just barely, we once again award Weasel with a Nobel Prize for busy. Hey, we're all banana for I are. Yeah. Wait a minute, hold! There has been another clerical error. Weasel and Baboon did graduate from third grade. It was the fourth grade that they actually officially missed. Oh, who is the typist who could have made such a stupid typo? E, E, third grade! Oh, it's the second grade. Who cares? Are you done yet? I'm getting tired. Almost, mother! All righty, I'm done! Hello! Red Heine, artiste extraordinaire. Welcome to another episode of Arting Around with Red Heine. Today, ladies and geraniums, we are going to learn about who is the greatest artiste of the century. I'm still unhappy that I didn't win greatest artiste of the 20th century, but oh, I did get second runner-up for Miss Congeniality. Any whom? Uh, our story takes place at the beginning of the 20th century when any artist who was anybody was coloring one of these coloring book. Mm. Let us ripple dissolve back in time to 1909 and the art studio of I Am Weasel. Now, Weasel was a good artist because he always colored within the lines. Et voila, that one color out of the lines. How come why not you shutting your pie holes, Rizé? Rizé art a poo poo. But art of I are a greatness! <laughs> I are baboon was a bad artist because he couldn't color within the lines. Oh, my poor Simeon friend. I'm afraid you'll never be a true artiste. You can't even color within the lines. See? Just like I told you, you probably thought I was lying! Ladies and Germans and fellow anthropologists, I give you... Aye, how come why is not I are getting the pulling sheet off of last of the land? Because I am the anthropologist who discovered him. You are merely my lovely assistant. But I are tired of being lovely assistant. I are wanting to be ugly anthropologist sometimes too. Also. All right, pull the sheet. Lady and Germaniums, I are giving you red! Yeah. What's he saying? I really want to know. 
Well, I have to confess. Confess what? Are you guilty of something? No batting a muck McGarrel! Ooh, with ten home runs in his last nine at bats. Well, that's mathematically impossible, Heine. Well, excuse me, Einstein. Sue me sideways and call me bunny. Come in! Your Majesty. Oh. You're the Queen? Buzz Buzz. Want some honey? I knew the Queen would be big. But she's humongous. And she are ugly too, also. Easy. Help! Help! Buzz! Help! <gasps> Buzz! Your Majesty. Ah! Thank you, B. This man is a big fat fraud. He's no queen. He's not even a bee. Oh, contraire, I am too a bee. Oh, check out my bee wings, Buzz Buzz. And I got these cool antennae, do I not? And did you see my stinger? <laughs> I know. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, Queenie. Let me be one of you guys. <laughs> oh. I'm a yellow jacket. Excuse me. Do you guys need a queen yellow jacket? Hmm? Ah! My eye! My eye! I've got sting on my eye! Ah! Ah! You! It's me! Oh, can I come back in? There's a bunch of yellow jackets after me mad as hornets. Ooh! Ah! I'm stung! <laughs> Looks like I'm kind of allergic to yellow jackets. <laughs> oh. I go not liking this place. I go finding fresh body and getting out fast. <laughs> Who put a dumb headstone in the middle of cemetery? <laughs> Careful with that! It belongs to Scraps, my pet hamster. I come here every night and mourn him. I flushed him down the toilet, but I'd like to come here anyway. Who would have known hamsters can't swim? Oh! Why, Scraps? Why? Hey, you looking fresh? Easy. I hardly know you. My boss sending me here to fetch a fresh body to bring him back to castle. He wanted to give it life. Really? Oh, people have been telling me to get a life for years. Well, well, well. What are we waiting for? My mother said I would never amount to anything. I always wanted to be a fireman. Until I discovered they put out fires. I say, Squirrel. I'm here to ride the Brahma. Any idea where I can find the Blighter? Well, actually, I think he's found you. Oh, 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 that's the Brahma. Oh, ha, ha. oh, you know, I always thought this was a Brahma. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mistake. And guess what his favorite color is? Oh, let me guess. Red? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Camera ready. I entered the lair of the legendary Big Butt. Surprised. <laughs> big butt? You're not big butt. <laughs> He's too kind. I'm ready for some pictures to be taken of me so I can be famous. Come on, film my melon. <laughs> I am very disappointed that this whole thing is a hoax perpetrated by a tubby red pantsless fraud. <gasps> Ubby? Why? Why did you do this? I did it all to get a little attention. Isn't that a crime? My papa was Bigfoot. He got lots of attention. Then one day, he went out for milk when I was nine. And he never came back. Don't cry. I have someone I want you to meet. Papa? Oh, papa! I'm so I can't believe it's you! So did you get the milk? <gasps> it's the dragon! We are so toast. But no matter the odds, today we must go out and perish like knights. 
to battle. Excuse me. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> roar, <laughs> roar, I say, roar, <laughs> roar. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Sir Panzerov, Nightmare Extraordinaire. Fear and intimidation are my sword. Stealth and fraud, my shield. <laughs> oh. Excuse me, but just what do you think you are doing? Why are you wearing that paper mache dragon? What paper mache dragon? Oh, oh! <laughs> this paper mache dragon! Um, I'm, uh, I'm holding it for a friend. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that sword? Ow! <laughs> oh, that. Oh, oh. Ah! oh my butt! Ah! Stop persecuting me! And so, Sir Panzerov, for pretending to be a dragon, I sentence you to six months in the dragon's lair. <laughs> Do you have anything to say? Oops. Come on, guys. Don't leave me in here. I might get sad all by myself. Better keep it down, Panzerov. You might wake up the real dragon. What do you mean, real dragon? <laughs> I hope you are not one of them fire-breathing dragons, are you? <laughs> I'm kind of allergic to fire, you know. I got sensitive skin. Very sensitive. Sensitive. <laughs> oh, hot fire! Stop! I'm gonna blister. Hey! Anyone care for a toasted marshmallow? <laughs> You know, sometimes it just doesn't pay to be bad. Ow! Ow! Oh! Oh! <laughs> uh, you there! The man walking on his butt! You're talking to me. At last! We're not alone! It's another man! I beg your pardon! I am a zombie, you know! <laughs> mm. Boo. You can't be a zombie. Zombies are the undead. Really? Well, I always thought that zombie meant something else. I are depressing to finding pantless man. What's so depressing about that? Now I are third most intelligent people in the world. Oh, pshaw. Don't be sad, Mr. Gorilla. Don't think that you're the third most intelligent in this world. Tell yourself that you are the number one dumbest in the world. Hmm? I thanking you. I got feeling better now. I think I'm starting to get an idea about what happened to all the people. Baboon, do you know what time it is? Isn't this when our show is on? Follow me. <laughs> it can't be. <laughs> this can't be happening. This is insanity! No! This is Harvey! Everybody's watching me! I must stop! I am Weasel so that the world can free themselves from the slavery that is their televisions! I must liberate them from the tyranny that is my show! The people must once again venture forth and breathe deeply the fresh air of outside! I will end my show now for... I am Weasel! I wish you wouldn't! Then I won't get to be the second most intelligent guy in the world! <laughs> Plus, I'd be out of work! Kids, parents, turn off your televisions. Not yet! Wait till I'm finished saying this. Go outside and live! I can't keep you all prisoners like this. I quit! Okay, you can turn off your sets now. Everyone should flood out of their house right about now.